Hello everyone, this is Gaming on the Next Guide. I'm Gadget Guy, and if you like what you see, feel free to like and subscribe. So today I have for you this game, which is B-Fence Remastered. As you see, it's remastered because it is three graphics that at one point, I guess, didn't look very wonderful. So they decided to upgrade them. Oh, there's a little bit of story I'm going to skip to look a bit more modern and look a bit better in general. So that is awesome. It looks great in my opinion. And also, uh, this game is a bit like a tower defense and an RTS, you know, simultaneously because you've got this little, you know, these little bees and they got to go collect resources and then they come back to the the uh, main building, the hive, but also you need bees to man your turrets. So your turrets can't just, you know, do everything by themselves like other RTS games. You actually have to man them. Oh, and I have to make sure that my bees don't starve to death with some nectar. As that is the upkeep, and if I don't keep that up, uh, I, my guns don't shoot. So I have that to contend with as well. Overall, um, at the time I've spent with it, it's been pretty fun. Uh, it works with Proton 6.3-5. So, you know, near perfect with Proton, which I always like. And I do have a couple quick notes. Uh, first, I now have a Steam Curator, which you can find in the description. Uh, this will tell you whether or not this game works well on Linux. If you're on the Steam page and you're looking to buy a game, and I've already done a video about it. So I thought that might be of help to people looking to pick out a few new games, especially around sales. Secondly, um, just a reminder that I still have my contest going. So if you would like to take part, make sure you're subscribed. Um, put a number in the comment section of my 100 subscriber special. And then also tell me what your favorite video of mine is. I do that just to avoid bot spam. Uh, finally, I hope you are enjoying this. As you can see, I am a very big tower defense fan. So this game is definitely my cup of tea. I really enjoy the, like I said, the RTS functions. As I've always been an RTS fan as well. So sort of having to balance the two is definitely something I like. There is also a metal system uh, for you perfectionists out there. In case you really, really, really want to, you know, do the best possible. Like there are optional objectives if you really want to get a ton of playtime out of it so that you just, you know, have to re keep playing it until you get all three stars, which I know is not something I'm especially a fan of, mostly because <laughs> I am a little bit of a perfectionist in that case, and uh, it does make me crazy because I always want to try and get all the stars. Ooh, we can get some honey forest for our uh, research team. So I'm going to definitely put a bee on that one. And probably another bee too. I'm going to start upgrading because it's actually really powerful and doesn't cost more bees, which is obviously not a very plentiful resource. I have press on a tower. Oh, snail. Hot wax ammo. Interesting. Ten. I see. Okay. So now I have optional upgrades. Incendiary ammo. I don't know what this is good against. Uh, burning wooden armor. So, oh, I guess it's also good against fleas. 
but it specifically is perfect for burning wooden armor. But it's also very expensive. Hmm. Oh, my bees are not gathering dew anymore, which is not good. So I gotta grab some more honey because I want to make sure that I am able to pay for more upgrades. As you can see, a level 3 tower is absolutely destructive and will just absolutely destroy. It's actually incredible how much they destroy um, those little fleas when they get to level 3. They go from like a little rifle to a full out minigun. It is insane what they are able to accomplish. Cause, and it's no small feat. Because it is a lot of damage. So I'm going to continue speeding things up because I want to make sure that I hit the you know amount of time that I'm given because there is a star for time as well. well get rid of these guys pretty effectively a little bit of story again there's a short story it's it's not especially long, but it's, you know, something to tide you over. Oh, there we go. I did the time. Did I collect 80 honeydew? It looks like I did. Oh, apparently I did not collect enough honeydew. So, you can just replay it. But I'm just going to show you another level for now. Ooh, the desert. Pollinate 15 fields. Now this is going to be something new. I keep getting new, you know, ways to play, new mechanics that are really very interesting. Hmm. Oh, this is definitely new. There's fields to pollinate. And, uh, today it's a desert. All contact is lost. Repollinate. Okay. Oh, it's one of those bomber things, I think. Point five fields. Hmm. How do I do this? Do I just put them in this thing? So I gather the pollen. Hmm. I still don't quite understand how to do this yet. Uh-oh. So, I have to defeat new enemies. Pollinate three fields. Okay, so I guess it's just... By continuing to harvest the fields, you just get... Um more fields so that's good too wow these towers shoot exceptionally slowly is their range exceptional it does not appear so can I upgrade it? It appears so. Seems to be doing a little bit more damage, which is good, but honestly, I'm unfortunately not especially impressed. Reported more hornets approaching. We need water. Okay. 
Good to know. My, there's quite a few mechanics, you know, you're just constantly having to contend with. Which is certainly no small feat. <coughs> Excuse me. So I need water to keep these things cool. Explosive ammo. They wound them. And this is penetration power. Uh, straight passageways. I'm going to go with explosive ammo. That seems more useful at the moment. But of course, I will take that one too, just in case. Alright, I keep pollinating fields. Pollination! It's relatively pretty good for the environment. Alright. Gotta keep up the water so that I can keep firing effectively. Unfortunately, I appear to not be able to actually get any pollen so that that was the last pit of my um you know upgrades unfortunately so my my b tower is just gonna have to make do for now you're gonna start so fast Okay, now I'm going to move him over here. Because it does exceptionally more damage. Keep pollinating! I need more pollination for a three star. I have to make sure that I'm not dying here because that would not be how I win. Water boost? Oh, interesting. So it lowers their cooldown. Or, or creates a cooldown. You know, in a bit in the literal sense. I'm going to need you to keep collecting nectar. Hmm. Because I really need more fields pollinated. One, two, like three, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Could use another water collector to make sure that I have another cooldown boost. See, I see. It seems like it kind of pollinates when it finishes a square or hex, excuse me, in this case. Hmm. How confusing. I definitely feel like if I was going to go for a three star on this. I would definitely want to try and, you know, continue with just making bees and not upgrading this one. Because that way I could have a, an absolute ton of pollinators. Although I feel like I kind of ran out of pollinator space now anyway, so... I don't know. Let's find out. I don't think I pollinate enough. I don't think that was 15. Nope. Wow, some of these optional objectives, pretty tough. 
So we're new permanent upgrades. Permanent upgrades? Well, that's going to be helpful. Increases nectar capacity. Oh, wow. These are actually pretty cheap upgrades. These are pretty helpful. Oh, geez. There's more. Okay. Um, although I feel like there's top two. Well, that one's pretty good. Are definitely the most important. Because that way I get more bees faster. And I can potentially pull all my bees off of nectar duty in case I want to, you know, get better uh, or more towers manned. Well, this has been uh, Gaming on the Next Guide. Again, remember, I have that contest going, so make sure to check out my channel. And as always, have a wonderful day.